Hey girl, let's build a dike in CNR Pernheimer's Lowlands, published by Z-Man Games. This game was largely inspired by Uli Rosenberg's Agricola. However, it's a lot less punishing and much simpler to learn, and comes with some pretty cool components and awesome artwork as usual. In the game, you're going to be contributing to the dike the resources that you collect. Whether or not the dike holds or breaks is going to determine what the score will be for how much you have contributed to the dike as well as the farm that you've built out. On your player board, you're going to be building out your own little farm. This is a lot like Agricola. Two sheep are going to breed into another sheep and those sheep are worth money. At the end of the game, it's whoever has the most money wins. The pieces for the dike are really cool. The water tokens stack on top of each other and then the dike pieces you build across each other and let them stack up as well. The water pieces are really cool, but the dike pieces I think could have been a little bit more thematic, but it's all right. Then on your farm board, you've got your little bits of fences and sheep that you're gonna go and expand. A cool thing I thought with this was the little board that when you build a building, you're gonna take a building off and it reveals a potential increase to your income. Same with when you build a fence, it's gonna reveal another increase to your income. I thought that was pretty cool too. In the center of the board is where you're gonna track what the value of your current dike points and your sheep are. One of the really cool things about this game is the fluctuating point mechanic. When you let the dike break, your sheep are worth less money, but your dike points are worth more money. If you protect your sheep by building out the dike, the sheep are gonna be worth more money, but your dike points are gonna be worth less, which is a really cool mechanic. Overall, Lowlands is a pretty cool game. It's, I would say, a good way to bring your players up from something like Catan. It's not too heavy. It might be a little bit of a rulesy explain at the beginning, but once you get into the flow, it really works well. The flow is actually really cool. There's a water type level on the side and it shows you the rounds that you're gonna go through. You're gonna do a phase one, which is your income. Then you're gonna do a phase two, which is your actions. Then you're gonna go back to income, back to actions, and then you're actually gonna check the dike. You would think that there's a lot of pressure to build up the dike points, but figure out the strategy you want to go for to see whether or not you're going to go a, a full sheep route or a full dike contribution route. But don't contribute too much. You do want it to break sometimes, but not enough that you flood out. It's a very delicate balance, which is really cool. Overall, low ends, you've got beautiful artwork, beautiful pieces, a great game to play. Shantae, you stay.